Hey guys, so this is going to be a kind of collective haul I've gathered over the last few weeks or so. Um, most of it's MAC, but I do have two Revlon items in there as well. Um, from MAC, it's a, it's a mixture of Dare to Wear, Fabulous Felines, and the Permanent Collection. Okay, so I guess I'm going to start off with Revlon. Um, I went on the bus, crazy story, and they kept repeating this ad for the new mascara that they've launched here. It's called um, Grow Luscious. Um, yeah, it's in this green packaging, and it has a huge wand. So, like, it's bigger than my eye. Um, and I really like this so far. I've got it on now. I don't know if you can tell. But it's supposed to promote growth as well. So, like, as you wear it over a certain period of time, it's supposed to um, help them grow and thicken. So, I'm going to do a review on this, but I only got it yesterday. So, And then, when I was there, uh, if you bought that mascara, you could get a Revlon Match eyeshadow for nine dollars. Um, and it's just a, just over one US dollar and kind of probably a bit less than a pound. So I just picked out um, number one vintage lace, which is just like a matte. <laughs> of course, it's matte. It's just like a highlight color. It's quite nice, but it's pretty chalky. I feel. there. Yeah, it looks kind of chalky. But, you know, it's ridiculously cheap, so it's always good to have. Um, so then MAC. First of all, I bought myself a new palette, and I've like been labelling them, because I've got three now, so. Yeah, and what should I start with? I'll start with Dare to Wear. Um, I only picked up three things from Dare to Wear. Um, I wanted Winkle and Atlantic Blue as well, but because they're permanent, I'm saving that. So the first shadow I got is probably my favourite from this whole collection. And it's called Zingy. This is really bright blue. It's really gorgeous, and it has really good payoff. Let me swatch it. It's ridiculous. It's really, really pretty. So that's there. And then I got the colour Sassy Grass. Um, and it's really, I'm really upset because when I was depotting it, it kind of shattered. So it's a really pretty colour, but and I don't really know how to repress really shadows. But I'm a, bit, I'm, I'm a bit disappointed that it shattered. I was really looking forward to having it just in a pan form and I've just spilled it everywhere. Anyway, um, and then last of all I got one of these um, Dare to Wear lip glasses in Gimme That, which is a bright fuchsia colour. It's ridiculous. It's kind of like the lip gloss form of Snow Orchid lipstick. And this collection was absolutely ridiculous. Like I loved all of the eyeshadows but you know you have to be selective, so there's that. It's ridiculously pigmented. You could definitely just wear it on its own, and I really like this. Um, so then, from Fabulous Felines, I only picked up two things again. Um, I wanted, and they're both liners. I wanted to get a few more colours, but I couldn't decide, and they're kind of expensive, and you only get a tiny amount in them, so I didn't think it was worth it. Um, so I got two. The rest of the collections was nice. I didn't really want to buy a whole quad. Um, I did like one of the colours in the quad, but um, it's really similar to one of the um, permanent colours, which I bought instead. I just bought the pan of the permanent colour rather than buying the whole quad just for that colour. Um, and all the lipsticks. I kind of wanted Kitten. It's Kitten or Kittenish or something like that. Um, but I tried it on, it's really too dark for me, um, but yeah, so it didn't impress me that much, but I did get two of the liners, um, so I got them in 
signature blue and marked for glamour. So it looks like this, and actually this bit is the liner. This is just the applicator. Um, so I thought at least this bit would be the liner, but it's not. It's only this little pot. Whatever. So marked for glamour is kind of like a gunmetal grey with kind of a taupe undertone. And signature blue is just kind of a navy metallic blue. Um, they're really easy to apply. I've actually got the grey one on my upper lash line today. Um, so that's marked for glamour and that's signature blue. All of the other colours are really pretty but you can buy liners anytime so I wasn't like gonna spend all my money on them. Um, and lastly just two permanent items. Like I said there was a colour that really caught my eye in the quads but I decided to get I tested it against a permanent colour and they were pretty much the same. So I just bought one and I bought this colour. This is Max Club. Um, I always pass this by because it didn't seem like my kind of colour. But I looked at a few reviews and I think it's really pretty. It's like this red brown and then in the right light it go it has like green shimmer. And I'll show you. This is I wore this last night, just this shadow. And I just blend it out for a smoky eye and it was absolutely gorgeous. So it just looks like a regular brown. But in, in the right light it has green, a green duo to, duochrome to it. You can't really see but it's so pretty. So you should check it out if you're in the store next time. Um, and also, I was going to get the pigment Lith or Lith or I don't know, something from the Felines collection. Um, it was really pretty, it was just like a light golden kind of colour. But I decided that I preferred one of the permanent pigments and I've been after it for a while. So I went and I got Naked Pigment. It was really similar to the one that was in the collection but I actually preferred Naked. So, yeah, it's really pretty every day, all over the lid colour. Probably can't see that, it's just there. I love this, um, I have it all over the, I have it in the lid, on my lid today. And I've got that, the marked for glamour, the grey one on my lash line, and I've got Laura Mercier's Burnished and then um, Max Sketch in the crease. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I filmed my August favourites but didn't, I haven't had the chance to upload it yet so this might be uploaded at the same time. So yeah that's cool just to let you know that's coming and I shall see you guys next time. Bye!